the content of the state, that the legislative function will almost entirely evaporate. That if you think about it, if laws are going away in a big way, like reducing by a factor of, of 90%, then the legislative function as it turns out was actually, um, it is a primary hypertrophy, meaning it's, it's vastly more, uh, takes up vastly more of our time and energy than would be appropriate. And that uh, the state becomes much, much less about the coding of law or the writing of laws, the crafting of laws, and then their evaluation, adjudication, and enforcement. And uh, much, much more about just adjudication. So I would actually say that adjudication perhaps, and, and probably adjudication and enforcement are end up being the natural thing that lies at the center of uh, the state. And that for the most part, the, the content of the boundaries on behavior that we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis will live in some combination between norms and code. And that if you run into something at the level of, of, uh, of laws, um, this is because something has significantly has broken and this will actually be called into a mode of, of adjudication. Um, and so I, I would put like at the adjective, say, for example, wisdom might map to the state, which is a very interesting prospect to be thinking about that, that um, it's at the level of the, the collective awareness of the necessity of listening into what kinds of innovative relationships need to actually be brought to bear would be happening in that thing that has been held by the state for some very long time. So, so notice right here, I'm very much pointing to a, uh, the need for a Nietzschean hammer around the notion of the state, that the idea of the state that we've been living with for, for a very long time, perhaps for thousands of years, is quite wrong and needs to be smashed. And then inside of that, we will see like this sort of like curled up um, fetus that is the actual thing that should have been living in that place that will be called wisdom. Um, and that it's the sort of a, a kicking up in some sense. It's like, hey, whoa, something is off. Like our ordinary modes of navigating life seem not to be working right now. Can we slow down a little bit and invoke an inquiry or calling into wisdom where there's a deep inquiry into what's up? in the world, what's up with us, what's going on, has something happened where the context of the world has so changed that our norms and our code are no longer adequately or, or effectively mapping to reality? Do we need to actually be more explicit about articulating some change and then allowing that change to then percolate through our norms and our code to then create a new support structure that can hold reality as it is? You know, that would be sort of the state in this future. Um, explicit, highly conscious, like consciousness itself, living at that place. Um, and then obviously being in relationship with, with uh, maturity, living at the level of, of the commons. Right? So at the level of the commons, the notion of being able to have a conversation with somebody else and being able to sort of have a very mature conversation, say, oh yeah, I get it. You know, me cutting down all the trees in your, in your rainforest doesn't work for you. Um, and yet also we tend to build all of our abodes out of trees. So we, we need to find some way of actually resolving what are two mutually incompatible circumstances. Um, we need, we, we, everybody needs to have a place to live and your rainforest needs to not be destroyed. How do we solve that problem as mature people interacting with each other? <laughs> Which as you might, as we've noticed sort of neither markets nor states seems to have even as part of their basic portfolio of behavior. Um, and then we get back down to code, which is something like, okay, we kind of have a sense of how things ought to work. It seems pretty clear. How do we now design this elegantly into some sort of architecture that makes it super, super easy? Um, and if it turns out that there are errors, that we just throw errors elegantly so that people can consciously observe where the errors are, something like that. 